today we're going to talk about gardening. The first step is going to be going to the library or your local bookstore. I wonder if we still have bookstores. We probably do. And buy everything you can on gardening. Read up as much as you can. Learn all the ridiculous facts you don't really need to know, but you should know. Now forget all of that, and now we're going to do this the proper way. Step one, buy a rabbit. Now, if you got this from a pet store, the chances are very likely that your rabbit's pregnant. So congratulations, in a few days you're going to have zillions of little rabbits and they're going to hop around and be so cute. Oh, they're just marvelous. Rabbits make the most wonderful fertilizer you could ever have. That's a rabbit, by the way. It has teeth and ears and markings and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, train of thought. Uh... Um, rabbits. Yes. Rabbits fertilizer is much better than horse fertilizer or any other fertilizer you could ever buy. But, um, I'm not sure why you want to buy it because basically you're buying shit. This is a rabbit. Hold on, hold on. This is a rabbit. In case you've never met a rabbit before, this is tasty. Oh, it's my tasty. I'm allergic to rabbits, by the way. I'm going to be breaking out momentarily. You had lots of siblings, and their names were, um, let me think, Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner, and Beatrice, because Beatrice is just a lovely name. You are so cute, I love you. Bye-bye. I'll see you later for dinner. That was me, no, I didn't mean that. <laughs> yes, I did, I'm sorry. Okay. So, step two. Dig a hole, bury the rabbit, Plant seeds, watch things grow spectacularly. Oh, I'm so sorry. I meant to say, make sure the rabbit is deceased first. God, the sun is hot, so hot today. It's funny. But anyway, you'll have charming little flowers like uh, that purple and pink thing. There's a rabbit buried under there. Yep. Um, and then you'll have some flowers that are so tall you can't even reach the tops of them. They're beautiful. I thought those were all okra. I thought I was going to be able to eat some okra. Stuff is very itchy. You can hear the dog barking in the background. That's my neighbor's dog. It's very little. It needs put down. Why would you have anything that little? It's so annoying. So inbred and unnatural. Diseased. There's flowers. That's my flowers. Those are cosmos. And then you can see my zinnies and cone flowers and daisies. There's my strawberry bed and the tomato field thing. Those are free-range tomatoes. They ain't nothing better than free-range tomatoes. Okay. And then I have my grapes over there and other things. Green things. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Every year the Homeowners Association sends us threatening letters that says we should cut down our comb flowers because they're weeds. And so we always write back a very polite nice letter that says, you assholes, you inconsiderate people. Those birds, they need to eat things in the winter. Why would you be so cruel to them? And there's my flowers again. So proud of them. Just threw that in the ground and they came up. It was nice. Now, the last step to be a very proficient gardener is to have a pink watering can. Because who doesn't garden without one? <laughs> you look just so professional with it. <laughs> It's actually my little sister's Lucy's. So. Well then. Um. If you ever need to hide a body, you can always hide it in your garden. No one will ever think to look there. And then years later into the future, they'll dig it up and it'll be like Funny Farm. Oh, that's a great movie. Like, ah! There's a body in my yard. Anyway, have safe gardening. Have fun. No, nope. if you're having fun, you're doing it wrong. You're just doing it wrong. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Always, always plant basil in your garden because it keeps the bugs away and it's really great for everything to eat. Well then, bye-bye.